What's up? How's it going? Good. Good. How's it been going? It's early, but how's it been going? Uh, it's been going well. Everything's been looking good. Uh, feeling good. Feel good to be back in the building. Getting ready to get things started again. Anybody standing out among the young guys, Jordan Anthony, Cam McGrone, any of those guys so far? Uh, all them guys are doing pretty well. Uh, really can't even pick one out. They all doing well. They all, you know, uh, exploding to the ball, looking good, being where they got to be, and um, also, like, being uh, real good in uh, the meeting rooms, which is most important. I think you and Josh Mattel is tweeting after the season, you know, there's a lot more to do. Is it, what is it, how is that motivating you coming off of last season in this group? Uh, just motivates us, motivate us to uh, be better, do better. Um, you know, last season didn't end the way we wanted it to end, and we wasn't where we wanted to be. So <clears throat> we want to do better um, our next year, which is our final year. And you know, we don't we don't have another chance at this. This is your senior year, so you know, you just want to give it a, give it your all, so you don't have no regrets at the end. Were you surprised when Al Washington left? Uh. I don't, I, mean, I, don't even, I don't even know. No comment. I don't know. <laughs> That's still my guy. You know, all respect to Coach Al. And, you know, I just respect him for everything he taught me, everything that, uh, you know, all the knowledge he passed down to me. But, you know, he moved on and, you know, there ain't nothing else to say. How much can uh, Josh Ross replicate what Devin Bush was able to do last year? Uh, Josh is he's a he's a good dude. He's a great athlete. And, you know, he's good sideline to sideline. He's a hard hitter. Um, you know, he reads, reads D line. I mean, reads offensive linemen very well, and um, you know, he's 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 where he has to be all the time. So, I feel like it won't be that it won't be a drop off at all. Actually, I feel like he'll come in and you know do the same thing that Devin Bush was doing, maybe even better. So, how would you evaluate your performance last season? Uh, I think I did pretty well. You know, I always could do better. Um, you know, I first unfortunately got ejected out of two games, so I got to fix the way I hit now. <laughs> So, I mean, but overall, I feel I did well. Uh, I feel that, you know, I tried my best. And um, this year, you know, I, my intention is to do better, and I will do better. Harbaugh mentioned uh, Ben Mason was moving around a lot, offense, defense, special teams. Is he even working at linebacker at all? Uh, he's been working. Uh, honestly, I'm not even really sure. I see him at, like, D-line. Mm -hmm. see him at tight end. So, he's been working at a different couple of spots. How do you think he'd be able to translate to I, know you're uh, I feel like he'll be able to do well. You know, he's strong, super strong guy. Uh, he's smart, and you know, you can put him anywhere, and he'll work his tail off. So, anywhere he end up, I feel like he'll be, you know, great to the team, and you know, doing the position that he's at very well. You've worked with Michael Barrett uh, in, in that position group for quite some time. What do you see out of him, and what you know, what kind of player is he? Uh, I just see him um, really maturing, um, really getting the playbook down packed, and. Um, he's starting to show on the field because he's starting to move faster to plays and he's starting to anticipate things faster and um, he's just looking good out there. So I feel like um, he's been working his tail off since he's been here. You know, when I, you know, I give him some knowledge and he actually gives me some knowledge about some stuff that he sees. So I feel that he's um, progressing and he's going to be a great player. What do you tell young guys who are coming in at you know, Viper about how to operate in that position and some the intricacies that make it different? Um, I just tell them, you know, just got to be the, uh, you know, just got to be like the Tasmanian devil of the defense. Like, you got to be able to do everything. And, you know, you got to be able to cover, play in the post, play in the box, come off the edge, and you got to be hungry. You got to be one of the hungriest persons on defense. Um, you got to come in with a, a mentality that, that, like, you know, I'm going to make every play and I'm going to do whatever I got to do to help the defense, you know, to come out with the win. So that's pretty much all I tell them. Did you consider leaving for draft this year? Uh, you know, I had, yeah, I considered leaving. My options were in the air. You know, I could have left, but, you know, I feel like I wanted to come back. I feel like, you know, there's more on the table and there's more I can do. And, you know, I want to come back and get my degree, uh, something I you know that my mom and I, we really, like, uh, stress to each other that I want to get my degree, you know, because football don't last forever. So you want to be able to have a fallback plan. And, well, yeah, ultimately, that's all. You've watched a couple of these pro days now. I mean, what, what do you take out of those? What do you, what do you, what are some of the notes? Um, just how focused they were, you know, with all of us still around, you know, they, you know, shook our hands or whatever, whatever, but they were um, laser focused because they knew what's on the line. 
uh, their selves on the line, their families on the line also. You know, you want to be able to provide for your family, be able to do well, and just be able to be there for them. So they were very focused and moving well through the drills um, and just looking great in front of all the scouts and stuff. You went to the combine too, didn't you? Yeah. And what was that experience like? What did that teach you? Um, it was a good experience. You know, they taught us a lot, you know, just about the – the um the process and you know what's going what's going to happen and stuff we you know have to anticipate and stuff and just seeing like what well, we was there when the Titans were working out and just seeing them guys um you know as, like I said before having laser focus seeing Dentry out there you know really like motivating you know just knowing that he was just playing with us and now he's out here you know competing and doing what he do to end up going to the next level so it was good to see you know very um you know it motivated me to even work even harder to get where he's at and, you know, to be there the next year. How difficult is it to transition to a new coach? I mean, you said Al was your guy and now you got a new coach. Um, I feel that personally it's not difficult at all. You know, you got to work with the coach and uh, you know what he expects out of you and what you expect out of him. And, you know, um, it's all respect and you, you want to listen to everything he's saying. You want to take every bit, you want to squeeze every bit of, every bit of information out that he's giving you. And also you want to give him information too on how you see things and how you anticipate things and how you, um, you know, just play in general, so. I know you, get, you guys lost Greg and you lost Al, but you, you still have Don. Yeah. I mean, is it still beneficial just to have that guy still leading the charge? It's beneficial to have everybody, you know. We lose a coach, we got, you know, another coach coming in. So you just want to take in all the coaching that, that you can, you know, because it's all beneficial. Told you practices in, but what have you noticed that's different about this offense? Uh, notice that you know, just more like you know, more spread it out. Um, you know, just they're moving fast. You know, they're having fun, and uh, it's fun going against some guys. It's fun, you know, just changing it up a bit. Um, and they're looking great. Uh, receivers looking great. Tariq looking great. Uh, Nick Eubanks, um, all them guys looking great. Sean McKean. Looking good. What about the running backs? Running backs looking good too. Anybody uh, in particular? Uh, Christian Turner, um, all them guys, uh, True Wilson, uh, Hassan, you know, they're all looking good. They're all getting reps and they all looking smooth when they're doing their plays. Giving us a challenge. Anything else for Khalid? All right. Thank you. Thank you.